What is good? Diamond Knight is Steve, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. Today, man, we have my main man. I'm about to call him Nelly. Nelly, all right, Mr. Country Grammar himself. Mr. is getting hot in here himself. It must have been very, very hot on that stage, okay? Because a lot of people are saying that the devil was up in him. And I watched a little bit of it, and I seen his little eyes rolling and shit like that, and I was like, what the heck is going on? So we are going to react to Miss Lowdown's video, okay? The link to her channel will be at the top of the description. Make sure that you guys click on that. Let her know that the Diamond Life sent you, and subscribe to her channel if you enjoy this type of content. But before we get into it, like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell the Aunt Jemima, tell the Uncle Joey Stella. Let's get right into the video, man. Let's get it. Hello, and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And you know what? I've seen a similar thing happen to Wayne as well. And I was trying, for the life of me, I could not find where Wayne was doing the same thing on stage. I think it was like at an award show or something like that, guys. And he was throwing up the horns and like rocking out and shit. And his eyes were rolling in the back of his head. You can see the whites of his eyes and he just looked possessed. Okay. So that gave me a flashback of Lil Wayne when I seen him perform that time. And for the life of me, like I said, I was trying to search it on YouTube. Maybe I could search it on Google and try to find it. But guys, Wayne was out of there. And Beyonce has already exposed the truth about being possessed on stage. I forgot what talk show she was on, but she went on there and basically said when, when she gets on stage, like she's nervous before. And when she gets on stage, something comes over her, something takes over her. And that's when she transcends into Sasha Fierce. Sasha Fierce is the demonic energy that takes her body, takes up her body or, or consumes her body, right? And she's able to do things that Beyonce wouldn't be able to do. And she says this out of her mouth, y'all. So they're basically talking about demonic possession. But anyway. If you like this video and thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers. <laughs> she said ones, twos, and, and threes. Well. Can't forget about y'all. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Look at them eyes, bro. This video is for entertainment. Ain't no Molly and Percocet doing all of that, bro. That's that's demonic energy. Education Don't get it twisted. Only so everything is alleged. So it's not. And the fair act use is definitely alleged. In my Allegedly. You got to say that, right? Description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Happy Wednesday, y'all. And I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Please stay safe and all that good stuff. Y'all, I wanted you all to see Nelly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This is Nelly. I cut the sound out because Copyright. I didn't want to um, have his singing on here because it's a lot of bad energy coming from Man. the music. When I, when you know, I was playing it, I just felt some type of way. Do y'all see the hand signs though? This for the horns. He does this for the six six six. Now I want y'all to remember this is the year of the skull and bone, y'all, and y'all are seeing. Things taking place right now before your eyes. So much demonic stuff is going on. The truth is being exposed, man. And people are waking the fuck up. Already, y'all. Okay? Um, we're still in January. We're still in January. We've had sacrifices mm -hmm. already. Already um, had sacrifices. People being taken out on one, one. Uh, y'all already know. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people are being targeted spiritually right now, y'all. Um... Protect your energy. I know y'all saw the 666. Spiritually. Right now, y'all. Um, um, Boom. 666. People that you wouldn't even expect to be under some type of demonic spell or this or that and that and this. I, I expect all of them to be. They're Honestly. showing their faces, y'all. This is the year of Skull and Bones, and I do believe that people that you don't expect... Shit, weird. You're going to see their demonic side come out. You're if they're in the industry, I expect it. You're going to see if <laughs> um, there's a dark side to them, okay? And it's not going to be hidden. They can't hide demons. When demons want to be shown, they want to be shown. And you know what? The, thing, the scary thing about it is... You can see that he's trying with all his might to, like, hold it back. But that demon is like, nah, fuck you. I'm coming through. <laughs> They're going to show. Any demons that's around, any situation. That shit's scary, bro. I've seen real people 
shape shift into demons before, so that I know exactly what this is. They're going to show Scary. themselves. I Look. thought I was gonna die one time. I thought that demon was gonna take my fucking life, bro. I had to actually leave the house of the person who shape shifted into the demon because I was like, well, it was my house and a demon was in my fucking house, bro. And it actually happened to be a close friend. And after all of it, um, my friend was like, man, I hope you think that I would. I hope you. I hope you don't think that I would ever do anything or hurt you or anything. But I'm thinking in my mind, bitch, like, you don't know what I just seen. You don't understand. Like, I know you would never do it, but a demon would. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. I'm very spiritually in tune. So this shit really be scary when you can actually face it and see it in real life and see it head on. This shit is nothing to play with, y'all. Look at his nothing eyes, y'all. He's performing. Look how he's looking. He keep throwing up, um, you know, y'all see he's throwing up, you know, the devil's eyes with his hand. Mm -hmm. And his eyes keep just cracking back. on the top of his head. It's just going to the top of his head. <laughs> and he's acting really weird, y'all. And making all kind of faces. It ain't normal. Is Nelly possessed, y'all? Ask yourself this question. And is Satan's, you know, um, demons, are they tired of being hidden, y'all? <laughs> is this their year to show themselves? Look at his face. Now, either he's on some type of street pharmacy. Store. No, bro. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That is the devil himself. Duff. Or mm -mm. he's demonic. And it's simple as that. Yep. You know what? I feel like a lot of people don't understand at these record labels how they have, like, rooms that they do rituals in and things of that nature and they pray over these records that are spun on the radio over and over and over and over and over again to program shit into our subconscious mind as we're listening to these greatest hits and songs like that you know what i'm saying that are supposed to dwindle our energy or 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 lower our vibrations and things of that nature guys y'all have no idea what's going on y'all have no idea that a lot of these celebrities are warlocks they are witches they are they pra practice black magic they do rituals the the people that you wouldn't even expect to do satanic rituals do them guys they're not going to show you of course not you know what i'm saying but you don't know what's happening behind the scenes guys you don't know you don't know if anything, that would be a surprising thing for people to actually realize. Y'all see what's going on on social media. The demons are showing themselves. They're, they're, they're you know, touching their children that, you know, under their wings. Mm -hmm. Look at Nelly, y'all. <laughs> Pay attention to Nelly. A lot of people were saying that um, when they was watching this, they was getting... Mm -hmm. Some really bad feelings bad and vibes video. from the, just this video alone, y'all. There's some crazy stuff going on for 2023. And I'm going to tell you all, um, don't be surprised. Do not be surprised as the things that you see. I'm not I'm surprised, not surprised at, all. at a lot of stuff, okay? Right. But this one right here almost threw me for a loop for the simple fact that um you don't expect it from nelly y'all i do he's in the industry <laughs> all of them niggas to some extent practice black magic practice satanic rituals and things of that nature like all of them all of them all of them <laughs> all of them all of them he's not you don't see him out here throwing up you know devil horns and all of that stuff but he's doing it now. Yeah. They down with the bop of it, man. Oh. Okay. He just surfaced back out, you know, coming back out and started being, you know, public again. And I was happy to see that him and, you know, um, his ex, Ashanti, was, you know, doing shows together and stuff like this. But if this is what <laughs> is going on with him, <laughs> I would suggest her take that route. Leave this one alone. Ashanti do the rituals too. That's the thing, man. Just because you don't outwardly see it and it doesn't come out on stage or it doesn't come out in the public or maybe they don't have pictures of them doing these signs, Masonic, Masonic symbols and shit, shit like that, does not mean that behind the scenes they ain't doing some fucking witchcraft. All right? You're not going to see a lot of them in what they do. 
None of this shit surprised me at all. If they are in the industry, I expect it. And you should too, guys. People were in the comments saying, I don't claim any negative energy from this. <laughs> right. <laughs> and people are saying, did you see his eyes go back like mm -hmm. queen bees? They talking about his eyes are going back in the in his head like Beyonce's, y'all. Mm -hmm. This is what they're saying in the comments section. Mm -hmm. And he threw up that demonic sign twice. Mm -hmm. This is what they're saying in the comment section. Mm -hmm. Not only did he throw that up, he throw, threw up the 666 real quick, too. You just got to see it. This is sad, y'all. But you have Look, he even did it over his eye. Did y'all see it? Really small, but he did like the 666 over his eye. Watch. It comes this down. Sad, Boom. Y'all see that? But you have to pay attention to what's we going on. We see you, Nelly. You're going to be... In, I'm telling y'all. And be, be prepared for this because it was, you know... It was foretold that this was going to happen. Protect your energy at this time, y'all. Protect your energy at this time. That's the moral of the story of this video is protect your energy. Raise your freaking vibrations. All right? Work on yourself. Study yourself. Learn something about yourself every single day. Now, I'm not talking about, oh, I know I like to play basketball. Oh, I like to take long walks on the beach. I'm talking about internally. All right? Get to know yourself internally. Get to know who you really are beyond this physical body. Okay? Shit's getting real, and it's about to get even realer. Okay? Like the thriller in Manila. You guys really have to tap in and tune in with yourself. If you need help, if you need coaching, you can hit me up on Patreon. Okay? Link is in the description. But otherwise, do what you need to do, guys, to tap in with your higher self, who you truly are. All right? If you're, This is the worst time to be confused about anything in life. This is the worst time to be confused about who you are in life. And it's so easy to get lost. It's so easy to get lost searching for validation in this rat race of life. Just confused as fuck on where to go next. All right? So it's so very important that you guys tap in with who you truly are, raise your vibrations, help the people around you who can be helped because everybody cannot be helped and the people who cannot be helped, that's fine. But just know that if they're not on the same level of thinking as you, you're probably going to be slowly separating from them and you're going to be attracting the people who are for you. You're going to be attracting your tribe. You're going to be attracting the people who do think like you. The people who are ready for change, are ready to evolve themselves, are ready to go to the next level. So I say all that to say, keep your vibrations high. Keep yourself in good spirits. Keep good people around you in good spirits and good energy around you. Protect your energy at all costs, man. I love you guys so much. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend and tell a friend and tell they ain't your mom, tell they uncle Joey still a hoe. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby. <laughs>